We all have two lists. One is made up of things we can do. The other, things we can't. For kids with autism, the can't list is simply longer and more surprising. I wasn't talking and had no verbal way to communicate with the world. And when he showed up, he had very low communication, very high aggression. This child had not eaten any foods aside from baby food for about a year and a half prior to coming to us. Uh, we had a child come to us who had been in several other placements and hadn't been successful yet. These kids started coming to group, not saying one word to each other. They would sit in the lobby waiting. It was silent. We would come into the group room, nothing. At Firefly Autism, we're inspiring bright futures by lighting up I Can. Um, he, he tolerates peers. When he first came, he couldn't even be in the same room as a peer. And now they go on field trips, and he eats lunch, and he goes to group activities and listens to music. And it's just really inspirational to see over the course of two years um, his growth, not only educationally from uh, not having any skills to being able to do math, but also from social skills and um, tolerance of, of instruction and demands. And it's just really amazing. And like you and everyone else, we have our own list of can'ts. For instance, we can't currently afford newer, faster computers or enough iPads to give every one of our kids the benefits of this amazing breakthrough in the treatment of autism. Our biggest can't is we can't serve one more child without a larger facility, which we desperately need. To find out more about what we believe is the best choice for kids with autism, visit fireflyautism.org.